Pad Love with Pat's Two Cents with a very, very special request. I need financial help for three things. And I'm asking because this is for God's ministry. That room in there, which is my husband's former bedroom, it's a nice sized room. That's going to be the sanctuary. I'm going to start a home church in a few months. But I have to prepare, get the house ready and all of that. I have to change his flooring. And I have to buy chairs for people to sit in. Those are my two things for the house. Everything else I'll just handle myself. The biggest thing is I need to have a reliable form of transportation. Now, I am specifically only addressing those of you who number one, think that this ministry is worthy. Number two, under, understand that you're not to strain to do this. If you don't have the extra funds, don't do it. I'm only asking for those of you who have it to spare. Now, in my situation, I don't have a big church. I'm starting small. I'm starting in my home like Joyce Meyer did and some of the other ones. But my issue is I don't belong to a big church with a bunch of rich folks and all that that are helping to support my ministry. I'm basically flying solo on this. This is me and God. And I have about five people in all the last um, 10 years, I, I've had about five people to support the ministry when they can. I'm not Betty Hinn. I don't have millions of dollars and thousands of dollars coming in. I am simply a widow who's doing what I believe God called me to do, period. Now, I know that I'm called to reach a lot of people who are turned off to church just to keep them connected with the body of Christ and keep them in Christ Jesus without losing their faith. Now, in, in this situation, the car that I have, it runs. It does run. The back window does not close. It's open permanently. You know how electric windows go. The motor goes and that's that. Okay. <sighs> the, the right front window is already going out. So I can't use it. It does not have air. It has heat. If I need to go down into another city, I can't trust that car to bring me back especially in the summertime. You hear what I'm saying? This car is 20 years old. It's been a blessing, but I've only been driving it two to four times a month because I cannot afford repairs. As you can see, the window's still broken. Right now, it needs a smog device, not a smog device, the smog device works. But I am overdue for getting the smog check done. I, I did the registration, but not the smog check. That was just another expense I just wasn't ready to go into, knowing I was going to get another car. I believe the Lord let me know that I'm supposed to buy the, the car in the month of January. I'm not getting a new car. I already owned a car that I bought back in 2003. And I had the car until 2000, almost 15. That car has been faithful, nothing major, nothing, nothing minor, just simple maintenance, tires and battery. And then I had to sell it because <laughs> it needed some maintenance I couldn't afford. And at that point, everything was way above before I downsized and got rid of my TV service and everything else. So I had to go on and just sell the car. So the money helped me out. But now the Lord had already shown me I was going to get another one to replace it. But later on, and now is like three years later on. So I am looking for the same car because I've had a whole lot of cars. I've never had one that lasted this well. And the other thing I want to say about this car it can live long 
on its original motor and transmission, as long as everything's kept up, it can live up to 450,000 miles plus. That I know for a fact. So if I can get a car that only has 80 or 90,000 miles, maybe a 2007, 2008, I'll be good for the next 10, 12, 15, 20 years, depending upon how the Lord uses. And, you know, anyway, I'm asking you to bless this old 66-year-old woman. I am a widow, I am an orphan, and I am a minister, a servant of God. Let's just say that. I'm a servant of God, and I do not get a salary. I do not get a stipend. I do not get an honorarium. I don't get paid. But I do have four to five people that, that donate. I have two that donate faithfully. No, I have more than that. I think I have four that donate faithfully. So anyway, my point is, I'm asking you to consider supporting this ministry at a much bigger level that will enable me to get a big enough down payment for my car within the next week or two so that I can get a car that I can afford the payments on for the next four or five years. And I ask you to please prayerfully consider it. If you feel like God's telling you to bless another ministry, bless that other ministry. I will never ask you to do what God has told you not to do. But if you feel like God is saying, yes, bless this ministry, God's Church of Love online, which will soon be God's House of Love locally, including the God's Church of Love, then I ask you to please consider blessing this ministry through PayPal. If you click on below the videos, you'll see in the description box, it says show more. When you click on the more, it'll have a drop down and you'll see the information on how to make the donation through PayPal, the link, my PayPal link. So I thank you ahead of time. I thank you by faith. And the reason I'm going this route is because my pastor has prophesied over me that my provision will come very easy. I won't have to fight to get it. And the other thing is, he said that God is honoring all that I've done without pay for so many years, that he has not forgotten my labor of love, so to speak. And now I'm going to reap the benefits of serving him for so long. So I'm asking you to be a partner in this ministry. I'm not Benny Hinn. I'm not Joyce Meyer. Sorry about that. I'm just Pat. But I am a servant of God. And I'm trying to obey him. And on my income, tank gonna happen. <laughs> so I do need financial help in this. God bless you as you prayerfully consider blessing this vision. Amen.